For these kids, space is about a lot more than playing Star Wars. Once it gets in the solar panel, that energy turns into electricity, which, which will go in here. Yeah, okay. Okay. These middle schoolers are taking part in a very special space camp at the Vanderbilt Dyer Observatory. Focusing on the Hubble telescope. And I was like, whoa, we're going to build a Hubble space telescope. I was really excited. That's right. They're building mini space telescopes. The commands are sent from the ground station up to a relay satellite. With the help of NASA's founding Hubble scientist, Dr. Bob O'Dell. The computer that was to go on board was about as powerful as a hand calculator is today. And yet we considered it a marvelous machine and it was about this big. What we're giving them is hands-on knowledge, and we're interfacing scientists with these kids uh, during our camp. All of this is... It makes it go and it makes it stop. Yeah. The Hubble Space Telescope launched in 1990 and continues to give us amazing pictures of planets, stars, and galaxies. And I saw Milky Way, and that was so cool. And these mini Hubbles are taking pictures, too. So we actually got some pretty good images with this. All this hands-on work is helping students learn that space and the technology used in space is not science fiction. It's not a mystery. It's not magical. There are physical principles that cause this thing to operate, and that they can understand them. I mean, it's really been an eye-opening thing for a lot of the kids, I think. Well, I really like building the Hubble because all the wiring and the technology in it, it was really hard, but it paid off. This Hubble camp is making a big impact. I think it's just amazing because we know whenever you look up in the, in the sky, you see a lot of stuff and you know what it is. And this knowledge might create the next generation of space-loving scientists. For ViewCast, I'm Amy Wolf.